So the last product that we saw on the Google Pixel Fold news, well, yeah, that's that's the one. That's the final design. And the camera visor is gone on the Pixel Fold at the very least. Because if you look at the Pixel 9 and 9 Pro, the leaked window suggests that it still has the camera visor look, even though it looks like a modernized camera visor of the Google Pixel Fold, the first one. The Pixel Fold 2, the second generation Pixel Fold, is not going to have any of that. It is going to have a camera bump very similar to a Xiaomi phone. Now that doesn't totally mean it looks ugly or anything, it's just the fact that Google is moving away from the Pixel visor look. I mean, that's kind of disappointing. That's what I'm trying to say here. But few things have changed here, totally. The top and bottom bezel, that is gone in the inside display of the Pixel Fold 2. This is totally a modern looking foldable. That too, with, with an under display camera for selfies and video calls. Now we still don't know the resolution of it or how great it's gonna be but hopefully google is gonna do some magic and we're gonna see what it's gonna be anyway the outer screen is now 6.4 inch in size or 6.6 .6 inch if the corners are factored in much larger than its predecessor which had only 5.8 inch screen but also had a very different and a very good looking aspect ratio 17.4 by 9 aspect ratio this time it's gonna be different. Now we don't know what the aspect ratio is gonna be, but we do have the dimension. When unfolded, this phone measures 155.2 mm tall, 150.2 mm wide, and 5.27 mm thick. So this phone is much more thinner, but not as wide as the last model, but much more taller than the last model. So this is how it will look like if I compare them side by side. But in the folded state though, it's a different story. It's now 155.2 mm tall, 77.1 mm wide and 10.54 mm thick. That is even thinner than the upcoming Galaxy Z Fold 6, which is about 11.7 mm thick, gonna be. Now if you compare that with the Pixel Fold, the first one, so this is much more thinner, but much less wider, more taller. But to not look candy bar, it also has a good amount of height too, but not too much. It will also have 16 gigabytes of RAM and UFS 4.0 storage instead of UFS 3.1 on the current Pixel Fold, which is much more faster than the 3.1 and it is much more efficient. But the Tensor G4 is not gonna be the most power-packed chipset in a leaked Geekbench score. It scored about 1,082 points in the single-core score and 3,121 points in the multi-core score department. So it's not the most powerful one, but this is a prototype thing, so we will have to wait for it to get more optimized. But it will have one prime X4 core running at 3.1 GHz, three Cortex-A720 cores running at 2.6 GHz, and four Cortex-A520 cores running at 1.95 GHz. And all of that will be paired with Mali-G715 GPU instead of the AMD's RDNA 3 based Eclipse 940 because after all, it's still based on Exynos 2400 somewhat. Anyway, as for another thing that the cameras, they're gonna be only three cameras, no, not four cameras. The one is gonna be main ultra wide angle and a telebutter camera. And, and the other things that are inside the pill cutout at the top pill cutout to do better focusing. So yeah, that's probably all the things that we have about the Google Pixel Fold 2 as of now. I was surely gonna update you guys once I get to know anything more than this. And yes, if you want, you can get some crazy cool wallpapers up on my website, a link down below. Until the next one, bye and take care.